Hey everyone. Welcome back to Biochemistry Minds, your destination for all things science. Today, we're going to understand the Michaelis Menten's equation. This video includes engaging visuals, practical examples, and equation derivation with explanations to ensure the content is both informative and captivating. First things first, what are enzymes? Enzymes are proteins that act as biological catalysts. This means they speed up chemical reactions without being consumed in the process. Think of them as nature's little helpers, making sure that everything in your body runs smoothly and efficiently. How do enzymes work in chemical reactions? Enzymes bind with chemical reactant called substrate forming enzyme substrate complex. This complex is transition state and substrate is converted into product while releasing enzyme for another round of chemical reaction. Let's look at an example of how enzyme works. First step in glycolysis catalyzed by hexokinase. Hexokinase is an enzyme that irreversibly phosphorylates hexose, forming glucose 6-phosphate with the help of ATP. In most organisms, glucose is the most important substrate for hexokinase, and glucose 6-phosphate is the most important product. Now, let's talk about enzyme kinetics, which is the study of how quickly enzymes catalyze reactions. Several factors influence these reactions, including enzyme and substrate concentration, temperature, and pH. But today, we'll focus on the relationship between enzyme and substrate concentration. One of the key models in enzyme kinetics is the michaelis menten equation. It describes how the reaction rate changes with varying substrate concentration. Let's begin derivation of michaelis menten's equation. Enzyme and substrate combines with each other to form unstable enzyme substrate complex, and this is first step. Enzyme substrate complex breaks down into products in second step. K1, K-1, and K2 represent the velocity constants of respective reactions. The rate of the forward reaction is proportional to concentration of its reacting species. Rate of formation of enzyme substrate complex is equal to In the reaction, enzymes are either in the form of free enzymes or bound forms. So enzyme total is equal to concentrations of free enzyme E and bound enzyme ES. Concentration of free enzyme is obtained from The rate of breakdown of ES complex is equal to Here We now make an important assumption. That is, the rate of formation of enzyme substrate complex is equal to rate of breakdown of complex. This is called steady state assumption. Putting the values of respective rate reactants. Ultimately, this derived equation is called Michaelis-Menten's equation.